What's up, YouTube? This is a this is gonna be a how-to video. All right, let's say you go on a mega right, and you're like, "Oh man, I'm on top to somebody." All right, then look by using a mega blah, blah blah blah. Your computer network is banned for possible bad behavior. When I didn't do nothing wrong, matter of fact. I had a grandpa video on, and I was just asking this girl a question, and she hit it next, and then I got banned. But I mean, I stay banned on Omega. But I'm going to teach you today how to bypass it using a router. What you do is uh, go into your router. All right, then log into your router. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, but I just haven't got around to it. Alright, close out that. Alright, what you do is go to internet. Then scroll down to the bottom. And you'll see, use this MAC address. And then over to the side, you'll see some numbers. Like, like, um... And just change, don't change the front two, just change any of the third or fourth, hold on here. Let me, let me scoot this over a little bit so you can see. Alright, oh, some monkey. Uh. Alright, oh my gosh. This thing is being difficult, alright. Oh my goodness. Alright, you see like right here, like like these two numbers, that two nine, I'm gonna change that to a thirty. Oh shoot, hang on. I hit I hit the ring wrong button. I got carried away about something. Alright, hang on a minute. Alright, scroll back down. Alright, I'm gonna change this to a thirty. Then what you do is hit apply, then unplug your internet modem. Then let it do its update. It takes it a few minutes, but just let it do its update. And as soon as it gets done updating, Plug your modem back in. I'm on pot. Well, no, nah, it shouldn't take too much longer. But sometimes on my internet modem, it takes a few minutes to fire back up because it's old. <clears throat> and it probably needs to be replaced. Alright, it's fixing to get done updating. As soon as you see it do that, plug it back in. Don't do nothing else with it. Just just plug it back in. Let your let your uh let your internet modem load up. Alright, after your internet modem has loaded up. You go to events and go to administration and then hit reboot and then say the rebooting the router would disrupt at the traffic of the on the network are you sure just hit ok and now hit control alter delete And then it's going to say uh, lock, switch user, sign out. Go to task manager. As soon as it loads all the way across right there, then uh, <coughs> close out Google Chrome. Or whatever browser you're on. I'm using Google Chrome. Alright, so as soon as that loads up all the way and it switches, 
Then end the task. Alright, end it now. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, now reopen back up your browser. There's a few more steps involved in this, by the way. Because if you're using Windows 10 and Google Chrome, it will remember everything. So what you do is go down here into your settings and go to more tools then hit clear browsing data. This sucks because you're going to lose all your tags that you're using on Omega. But it will bypass the band. Change that to all time and hit clear data. It takes a few minutes. Alright. Then redo it again to like last hour. Just just to make sure. <clears throat> Alright, now hit clear data. Alright, open up a new tab or a new window, however you want to do it. And now you should be free to go on the Maggle. Alright, check this out. Let's see. A Maggle. This also works if you get into a spam filter or anything else. Because I think Omega bans the wrong people because I see people with their dicks out all the time and yet I always get banned for nothing. Alright, here we go. So now here, here you are. You're ready to get back on the Omega. I hope that helps some people. I think Sniper Wolf got banned. And she went out and bought a new computer. I don't know. I don't know. That's funny. But that's how you. That's how you bypass an Omega band. Peace.